Rick Springfield when he played Dr. Noah Drake on General Hospital, 1981 to 1983. And of course, we all loved... Calm down! We all loved him for his hit songs like Jesse's Girl too. Lots of great music. So we were sad when he left the soap scene. So let's find out what Rick Springfield is up to now. Please welcome Mr. Rick Springfield. <laughs> Dozen, welcome to the show. Welcome to Seattle. Have Thank you been you. to Seattle before? Yeah, yeah, I've played Seattle, I think, uh, once or twice before. Well, you know, yeah. I, I was going to go on to another question. Before I ask you that, though, look at the turnout here, and, and, the, and if there's how many, 100 and some odd people, 200 or whatever here, how many, that's times 700 people out there. That's a lot, a lot of people who not only remember you as Dr. Noah Drake, but love your music and have never, ever stopped loving you. How does that make you feel? Um, well, it's great. I was I was unsure what was going to happen uh, on these tour. On this, we've just begun to tour now. I haven't toured since '86, and I was unsure about what the reaction would be like. Sure. You know, I didn't know if people would just be standing back there going, "Oh, he looks older." No, you know? no, <laughs> does he? No, no. Well, tell us about you. You've not toured since 1986. Mm. What happened? What? Where have you been? I got burned out. I was touring. I was recording. I was acting, and. Uh, I, my first son was born in 86, and mm -hmm. it seemed like some time, a time to take a little bit of uh, a break. And it just kind of got away from me, you know, sure. and I became a hermit. And I just, it was, it was a real tough time for a little while because I just really didn't want to be with people, you know. Um, and so uh, after a couple of years, I, I, I got over that. I got better. Sure, you got, you got all well. <laughs> I got, got all well. And I started, uh, and Jack, who's I've been playing drums with, who's playing tonight with us, gave me a call about... Uh, a couple of months ago, and said, "You want to go out and start playing again?" So I, I said, "Yeah." And it's it's been uh, it's been incredible. I mean, I like I said, I didn't know what what the reaction would be, but it's been great. Is this your first city? Uh, no, no, we've we've done uh, this is about our tenth day. How was it? I mean, what's the it's reaction? Great. It's been great. It's been uh, it's the the music still uh, moves people, which is because we're doing Good. we're doing old stuff at the moment. What what I'm doing is I'm working towards uh, a new album, which hopefully will be out before the end of the year. But just to start out with just doing all the old stuff. And it's nice to know that after all the time, everyone has a positive reaction to, to the music that, that they love in the beginning. That's a great, that's yeah. a great uh, I think it's, kudos I think it's to you. Basically, I, you know, I think the music, I, I like the music. And, and good it's, music you know, is yeah. good music any way you cut it. Let's go to Linda. She's got a question for you. Why did you leave so suddenly? Say so what? Why did you leave General Hospital so General suddenly? General Hospital? Oh, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant life. <laughs> General Hospital. Yeah, well, um, my my contract was up, and I just I was going to do a movie called Hard to Hold that I eventually did. Yeah. <laughs> you freeze frame it on my naked butt, right? <laughs> no, actually, someone said that they used to do that when it first came out on video. Um, yeah, and so I, uh, they wanted they. Because I was a popular character, oh, because Noah Drake was a popular character, they didn't want a big lead up to me leaving. Yeah. Because people would go, oh, he's leaving. Well, let's try another. You know, fans they feared would switch to another soap. So when a when a popular character leaves, they just go away. Boom, and they're gone. You know. Yeah. So they we did that. we know about that. What was her name that went off the uh, ramp, the freeway ramp? <coughs> One of the characters did, never came back. I don't yeah. know what happened there. Let's go to Carla too. Call over here. Rumor a while back that you were coming back to General Hospital. Is that true? Uh, there's been some talk. We've talked about it, but it's nothing really that that uh, that has worked out. Or you know, I mean, I want to get back in, in the music is really the main thing. And I, I've got to ask you the question that everyone is asking. You, you said you're someone. You are married. Then yes, been married. Was that five times or five? No, years? no, that's the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and you have two children. Two, yeah, I got two, two boys. Children. Well, congratulations on coming. We're glad to see you back. Mm. You're at the backstage mm -hmm. tonight, and I think we ought to give away a couple tickets. Okay. And up uh, now. <clears throat> dig around in there. And see, got two? I got three. You got two. Now you got two. Okay, good. Well, there's Who no name on one. On back. Oh, Take on it. the back. Margaret Kim. Margaret Kim, where's that? Oh, Margaret Kim. And, and Beth Fellows. And Beth Fellows. Where's Beth? There you go.
Congratulations. We'll get, we'll, I promise to get those <coughs> tickets to you. But keep us posted. Good luck on your tour. Thank you. And if you do think about coming back to GH, do Cindy a favor. After all, I do get all the scoop, right? Yeah. You give me a call yeah. and let me know. Okay. Good luck to you. Thanks, Thanks. a lot, Rick. <laughs> You can see Rick Springfield in concert tonight at the Backstage at 8.30 p.m.